Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Uh, today is kind of exciting because we're going to be doing another unboxing, um, but this time it's for the recent 50% off sale. Uh, it was a flash sale, 24 hours, and these are some of my last minute picks. So yeah, let's just get into it. This one I'm super excited about. Um, this is La Haine. Uh, this is an amazing French film from the 90s. Uh, I'm sure many of you have heard about it. I love the plot, I love the characters. That's a great aspect of it. And just the overall style of this film. It's it's so 90s, but what's great about it is that it's shot in black and white. So it's like, it's like you don't get the color from the 90s, but you could just get the vibe and the aesthetic and, and the wardrobe is great in this film. It has a very good like kind of street vibe, um, which also fits into the raw kind of political uh, message that's going on. But overall, just like such a great film. And I know I talk a lot about like aesthetics and stuff, but this is just, in terms of aesthetic, this is so on point. Like I think so much of like today's fashion and just culture, like for some reason, I just feel like somehow this film has influence on that. So just a great one. Please, please check it out if you haven't already. And if you have, I'm sure you think it's awesome. So I'd like to know if you don't actually like this film, that would be interesting. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm really excited for this one, too. Um, so this is uh, Burden of Dreams. Sorry, I'm going to walk my face here. Uh, this is uh, a documentary about the filmmaker, uh, Werner Herzog, by the filmmaker and documentarian Wes Blank, who I've talked about on this channel uh, before because I am just a huge fan of, of this collection of Wes Blank's uh, films here. Uh, you know, I've raved on and on about this before, but, you know, I just wanted to bring it up again. Um, but yes, yeah, so this one I'm very excited about because, you know, Herzog is somebody I haven't really, I'm, I don't think I've ever seen one of his uh, narrative films, um, but I have seen his documentaries and I, I love his documentary work. Um, so I just think watching a documentary about somebody who is adventurous and makes documentaries would be great. Um, and then this is, there's just a, an amazing story about this and maybe you can kind of see it in the cover here. Um, which is that, um, you know, a character has to lug a boat up a mountain. And it's a famous, you know, iconic story by now. But I just, I need to see this. So um, that is, uh, you know, they actually lug the, the boat up the mountain. That's what makes it so iconic. But um, just really, really excited about this one. Um, yep. So this next one's pretty interesting. This is uh, Fish Tank by uh, Andrea Arnold. Uh, this is a filmmaker I don't know too much about, although I think I've seen one of her short films on YouTube. And I'm pretty confident it was... Oh, actually, yeah. Here it is, Wasp. Okay. And it's included in this, it looks like. Yeah, three short films. Okay, awesome. Sweet. So this this is great. I actually didn't uh, read into this. I just knew that uh, Michael Fassbender is in this film. And, you know, I love, I love the kind of blue uh, vibes I'm getting from it in terms of its color palette so um you know i'm really you know this seems like something that kind of is jumping out at me so um yeah and i had seen that short film really like that short film wasp uh, it's on youtube if you want to check it out um but yeah just really excited about fish tank also um hunger is another film in the uh, collection it's by steve mcqueen but it has michael fassbender and i'd like to check that one out too um but i didn't pick that up today um, actually we're on our last movie here um, so I only got four, but you know, it was a fun little sale. Um, oh, and this one's cool. So this is, uh, Ali Fear Eats the Soul by, uh, Rainer Werner Fassbender. So I picked this up, um, because a friend recommended it. He knew I uh, was a fan of, uh, Harold and Maude, which is a film about a young man who finds, you know, an older lover. And that's kind of what's going on in, um, Fassbender's film here. Uh, although I know I'm going to get an entirely different film because I don't think Cal Ashby and Fassbender are that much alike as, uh, as filmmakers. What I like about Fassbender, because I've seen one of his films, which is Fox and His Friends. Um, this is a great film, mainly because of its you know, set design and its uh, you know, textures. and It's just such a cool film. I've never seen something quite like it. Uh, Fassbender is a great use of depth um almost like his use of a stage um i feel like he must have like a theater background or something i don't know too much about him um but something that he does that's very interesting in this film is that he's able to kind of paint loneliness onto the screen in a unique way 
um, you know, whether it's through objects in the background or something the character's wearing or just all these elements just kind of add up and he's able to kind of paint um, an emotion like that onto the scene, which I think is really interesting. So I'm really curious to see what he does with the film um, like Ali Fear It's the Soul. Um, so yeah, that kind of does it for, for the films I picked up here. I hope you got to get in on this sale, and if you didn't, I hope you enjoyed at least seeing some of the pickups that I got. Um, please stick around for more videos. I'm planning on doing another one next week where I kind of uh, take a deeper dive into some of the recent Criterions I've picked up. Um, so yeah, thanks a lot. really appreciate you stopping by.